Greetings everyone. Welcome to another tutorial. So in this tutorial we're actually going to be looking at the 3D workspace. And what that pretty much means is creating 3D objects. Now it's not like 3D modeling software, but what you can do is you can pretty much work along three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. So you can add a little depth to your your animation. Now right in front of you, I have a castle wall. I hope it seems decent. I'm just going to make four of these and construct a simple castle. So we'll just get into the of course it's not like true 3D, true true 3D. Which you can import 3D models into this, but you need a plugin to do that. So let's get to it. So right now we have a castle, and my castle, I have disabled the properties for it to use the animating animation tool. So I'm just going to have to add a pig to that. And so while well, open the network so we can have a good view of what's going on. And I'm going to need at least three more sides of my castle, so I should pretty much just add a peg to this. And I'll just reduce this. And if I click and choose duplicate make it there. And you see that I have in total. So here's my network with four walls and it has one block together. So right now I have my network is one. So I'm gonna quickly click and order to that. Hopefully. So I'll just highlight these and click on this here nice button order network up. I guess I go with that. Order network down. And I'll just drag these back over so it's not too wide apart. So, of this side, this side, this side, and this side. And what we're actually going to have to go through is with our pegs because, well, Though your drawings could do some stuff in terms of 3D, we actually want to use the pegs. So what we're going to do is basically do some simple rotations. So if you're used to your 2D rotations, get ready to learn an extra one. It's really not hard. So we have the front view. I'm actually going to use this as my castle front and so the other the middle two sides I'm going to actually kind of rotate them at a 90 degree angle so they make a good wall so right now this peg is the regular kind of peg not enable 3d but I'll actually have to do that for this one so I'll just quickly do that come over to enable 3d and you'll probably see rotation looking a little different than the previous one. So I'll give you this look here and we'll take a look at the one previous to that. So we'll come here and the list is a little shorter. Right? So you see the difference. If I choose the rotation tool for this regular one, you have the regular rotation, which is flat. Right? But we go on this one that I enabled 3D and we have a 3D cursor or a 3D rotation. So instead of working with just the regular flat rotation, you can actually rotate it any way you feel like it. You know, you can rotate along the X, Y, the Z and pretty much go wild with it. So what I'm going to do now is do it all calculated because it's a lot neater that way. 
rather than making estimations. So I come to my 3E enable the peg, and where it says rotation, I'm going to rotate along the Y axis for 90 degrees. And if I show you the top view, it should look like a, well, a cross. You probably see it right here. So that's actually two objects now. One, two. Right? So this is the one we're working with with the three D. And this is the previous one. So now that that's rotated, I'm just going to use the translate tool and pretty much put some order to this. So I'll carry this over. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this one. I'm just going to make a simple little looking T. And then push this up so that it gets a little more orderly. So that's what you got. And we can actually go to the perspective view. And if I press Control and Alt, I can basically nice look at and see that I have some 3D going on here. Of course, both sides will look the same because it's not exactly a true 3D object in a sense. It's just the rotation that makes it look like 3D. And so, to simply finish off, we'll go back to the other sides and rearrange them from the top view again. So we we'll have to rotate another side in a rotation along the y-axis. So I come, I enable 3D, my list gets longer, and I go back to my y-axis again and change this to 90 again. Then we come back to our top view and we just rearrange it again. I guess it gets more exciting when the more you challenge yourself. So, if you find it's too simple, hey, why don't you challenge yourself and make an eight sided test? Mm -hmm. I mean, I plan to do that one day. Kind of like a octo dome or something. So, we have this so far in our perspective view. Control Alt, rotating around, and checking it out. So, we just have one more side to make. And I'm thinking of adding a roof afterwards, so that's in the next tutorial. So this is what we have. You can actually make a nice huge castle into those these little outposts. So last thing from the top view, or rather the network, the, the fourth side, which from the top view is identical to the first one. So what I'll do is just push this back. And it should look like a box. So now, with the perspective view, and we just rotate all the way around, and hopefully we're pleased with what we see. So this is what our castle looks like. It's not too rigid, but we could add a texture to it, we could add a roof to it, and just have fun with it. So I'll just add some more stuff in the next tutorial and hopefully you get the gist of how this works. I'm going to add the two more layers, one for the floor and one for the ceiling. So be prepared to try that. So hope you learned something here. Take care and God bless you. See you again.